Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Today, I am fortunate enough to be joined by the Managing Director of Olympio Medals, Sean Delaney. Thank you so much, Sean, for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me, Caitlin. Very good to be here. Um, so today, John and, Sean and I will um, be doing a quick interview. So let's get straight into it. Could you tell me a bit about the background of Olympia Medals and a short history? Yeah, sure. So Olympia Medals, were, this week is actually our anniversary. So we're just one year old this week. I've been listed under the code OLY um, for one year. So yeah, we raised $6 million a year ago. Our, our major shareholder is uh, Lithium LRC, which is a subsidiary of a North American fund called Waratah Capital. So they put in you know two million of the six. So they are currently holding eighteen percent. So yeah, we had a couple of we had a couple of listing assets: the Mawari Lithium Project in Western Australia, just north of Kalgoorlie, and a very interesting gold project in Halls Creek in the East Kimberley of Western Australia. Mm, so could you and tell so, me? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, so, so so those were our two listing assets. And yeah, last last November we uh, acquired a rare earths project in South Australia called the Aurelia project, mm -hmm. um, just as an option to earn into that project. So. Yeah, and could you go into more about the Mawari Lithium project in Western Australia? I know they recently announced a farm agreement with Lion Town Resources. Yes, correct. Yeah, we have uh, the, the Mawari Lithium Project. Uh, look, it's 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 in sort of the perfect uh, geology, if you like, for a lithium discovery. It's got it's in it's in the greenstone, so it's granites around the outside. So in the, what they call the Goldilocks zone, and mm -hmm. uh, the Mount Ida Lithium resources to the north of our project, and and recently Oribanda Mining have also announced some success with uh, drilling spodumen just to the south of our project. So. Really, all the, the the lithium resources that have been discovered, I guess, in the Yilgarn region of Western Australia, are in this in similar geology. So, yeah, so uh, we've been talking to Lion Town for you know for several months about the possibility there, um, and yeah, in last in in last month we announced a farm in agreement with Lion Town where they will come in and spend their money on exploration, uh, do complete soil sampling over all the greenstone area. So, look, okay, yeah, very excited. Limestone, limestone, uh, Lion Town. I mean, are um, uh, building the Kathleen Valley Lithium Project to the north, to the north, and you know, great partner, expertise, resources. So we're very excited to have them as a partner in the project. Mm. And I know you also mentioned earlier the Eurelia Rare Earth Project in South Australia. Can I get an update on that, please? Yeah, the Eurelia Project. As I said, we we acquired it in. Um, in November last year, this as an earning project for the rare earths there. It's 300 k's north of Adelaide, um, in very interesting geology and some very deep structures there. But the most interesting thing about it, yeah, I guess, was when we when we acquired the project, we looked to the south and the Wallaway carbonatite, which is one of the known carbonatites in Australia, been known about for 50 years. The ground was vacant, so. We've pegged that ground uh, to the south. We expect that to be granted soon. So just uh, we've just recently completed our first air core drilling program there based on some rock chip rare earth results up to 10,000 ppm that uh, we had from previous explorers' trenches. Been explored for many years for diamonds over there uh, by diamond explorers, but never, never uh, explored for rare earth. So it's a very interesting project. We're, super excited and we're getting to work there and we'll have um release some days those drilling results you know in the next probably four to five weeks the, the the assays are in the lab now but that's about the turnaround time so super excited about it yeah it all sounds so exciting and um what are the news flow and work do you have planned for the remainder of the year well yeah just i mean they just depending on the results there i guess uh, when they come out they and we think the wallaway application to the south will be granted so we'll be immediately trying to get some approvals to put some holes into the the wallaway project follow up on that uh, urelia drilling to the north obviously we're you know waiting in anticipation of lion town's uh uh exploration results over the next four four or five months on the lithium project and we'll 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 likely be doing some drilling in halls creek uh at some point in the next couple of months so yeah we've got a busy year ahead with strong news flow so you know very tight capital structure for Olympio only 50 more 54 million shares on issue so yeah we think is this there's, there's good value to be had 
Yeah, well, it all sounds really, really exciting. Um, and I think everyone has really enjoyed learning about the Olympio story and um, what it does. So thank you so much, Sean, for joining me today. Um, and have a great rest of the week. Well, thank you for having me, Peter. And anyone needs further information, please feel free to circulate my details. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.